channel, guys. Today's video, we're gonna roll this sucker outside. But I know you guys are probably wondering how I got these CF Moto rims and tires, the fat ones, on this sucker. Well, you have to buy an adapter, and I'll have the adapters linked down below. These will fit almost all golf carts. I actually never come across a golf cart that didn't have this same wheel pattern. And it's actually a four by four bolt pattern. And these are four by 110. So you're gonna need a four by four to four by 110 pattern uh, adapter slash spacer. These are one inch. I got one inch cause I have to put the two inch spacers on for these to work with those tires. So let's get these on. So now we're gonna get our two inch wheel spacer. The bolt pattern for these wheel spacers is four by 110, which is what fits those. Dugger gun. Please guys, before you hit the comment section, please keep in mind, this is a golf cart. It's not a freaking space shuttle. We ain't going to the moon. We're going to the campground. We're gonna do a whole 10 miles an hour. This would be fine. And it's gonna look good doing it. So, I'm gonna get the other one on. And we're gonna roll it out. Well guys, I thought I had the camera recording, but I was wrong. I didn't have the camera recording. And the engine, it jumped out of the box and onto the go-kart, golf cart. So let's check that. So we got our engine plate welded onto the bar there. But we have to find out how we're gonna brace this side. I have a few ideas. I think I'm gonna come from here up with some tubing so we might do that at least uh one piece of tubing there and some tubing going across here i think that would pretty much tie it into the frame pretty good but i don't know so we'll have to see so i know i didn't get to tell you guys or do the unboxing on this engine because i pulled it out of the box and i forgot to turn on the camera i feel really crappy no, I don't. I just kind of wanted to get her done. And I, I forgot to turn on the camera. So, it's a Duramax 7 horsepower engine. It's electric start. And it has a charger and everything. So, we got to modify in a battery here somewhere. I think the battery might go up front. I don't know yet. We'll have to see about that. But now I'm going to see how I can do the back half and... Hopefully I'll remember to turn the camera on for that fabrication because I know you guys really like watching me fabricate. Honest to God, you didn't miss much. I just took that engine plate, put some stuff under it to get it positioned where I wanted it and the chain lined up where it needs to be and I just welded it on, on that rod. So you didn't miss much, I promise. Well guys, we're going to work on the sprocket. So do you remember this piece? that I cut off the electric motor, just a little piece. Well, I went to Tractor Supply and I bought this adapter that welds to these gears, which you can buy these gears too at Tractor Supply. I bought this one on Amazon for like 10 bucks, 12 bucks, but I forgot to buy the weld on adapter. So what I did here was I took this and I chucked it up in my lathe. I'm gonna show you my lathe. 
So yes, we got a lathe at Redneck Garage right here. It's a central machinery five-speed bench lathe press. See that? Lathe press. And then we had to put our Hercules cutting bit on there. And so we trimmed that down. We trimmed this down just to slide in that collar just enough to get a good straight bead on it. So let's do that real quick. My wells are getting better. I mean, they don't look the greatest. I think I see like a roll of nickels, stack of dimes in there somewhere-ish. But yeah, not bad. They penetrated really good. It looked like crap. You know, I can weld way better without flux core wire. Flux core wire, eh. But I'd say I'm happy with that. We're gonna bend this pipe for the bracing of the, the rear of that engine. So how you wanna use Harbor Freight pipe bender is you wanna get the die that fits your tube and then go one die smaller. And that gives you a nice, nice uniform bend. And then it won't fit in here properly. So you have to come up to where it will. Which is a-okay. Look at there, we got our perfect, perfect 90. There we go, we now have our rear brace. We just have to weld it in. Looks like it'll weld in pretty good. And uh, we'll get to doing that. Well, guys, look at what all we got done today. We cleaned it up with the pressure washer. She's ready for paint. I have to let it dry. Now, I want to tell you guys, because I didn't, I wasn't messing with the camera. I'm trying to get this thing done, but I want to update you guys along the way. If you get that easy off oven cleaner and you spray it on anything that's really dirty, greasy, let it sit for 10 minutes and then hit it with a pressure washer and it will look like that when you're done. Now I could have did this a couple of times, but my main goal was to get not the paint off, but the grease off. So that was the goal and that's what we got. She cleaned up really good. Also, today what we did, we braced in our motor mount. I ordered a chain tensioner to keep that chain tension so it doesn't come off. So tomorrow the motor's gonna come off. I'll video that. We're gonna paint it and we're gonna relocate this and the muffkin. I don't know what I'm going to do with the muffkin yet. I got to see what pipe I got and what pipe I don't got. But we're going to let her sit here and dry off. She's going to rust a little, but who cares? It'll be a-okay. But that is where we got it today. And we rode it today. She rides much better. And then we're going to get the front end on it after I paint the front end. We're gonna get the front end on it and wait till you guys see what colors I got picked out. It's gonna look sweet. And then we got our steel mesh coming. You'll see, we'll video that stuff. I just wanted to get the main stuff done because I, I wanna have it for next weekend. And let me know, I might bring this to Wildcat Kentucky ride. I might bring it, maybe. Think I should, let me know. That's good enough to get her started. Now, when starting a brand new engine for the first time, 
do not have your drive line hooked up. If you don't believe me, completely ignore what I just said. Because she can and she might take off on your way. Been there, done it. For this video guys i want to thank you guys for watching and being a part of this this build does not get many views so i'm really not trying to put all the time and effort and energy into the videos now if it would get more views then maybe our next build i'll take the time i'll video everything and show you guys the whole process along the way but with these videos only getting 100, 200 views, I ain't wasting my time. I'm sorry, guys. I I know those of you who actually really want to see this thing come along. It's getting sweet. You guys want to see it come along. So I'm updating you on it as we go. So I hope you guys like them anyway. Thank you guys for watching. I really, really, really appreciate it. I really appreciate almost having 5K subscribers. That means a lot to me. I appreciate all of that. Everything you guys do. Thank you so much. We'll see you 
in the next one. Please like, share, and subscribe. Let's get these golf cart videos up there in the views and the likes and everything else. And then the next build, because who knows what I'm going to do. The next build, we'll video it through and through. I'm just kind of testing the waters with, the, with this one. And it's not going so well, guys. So I may not even do this stuff anymore on, on video. But we'll see how it goes. Thank you.